Hansen from Sky Sports News. Uh, go ahead, Ben. Lovely. Thanks, Danny. Uh, good morning, Graham. Um, morning. I'd like to start, if I can, um, by talking about Sam Curran after his performance yesterday. Um, obviously brilliant with the ball, but in the last few matches, he's also shown a real versatility in other areas of his game as well. And I just wondered what role you feel playing in something like the IPL has had in his development as a cricketer. I think it's helped him enormously. Um, you know, I think every environment Sam has gone into, he's, uh, he's always shown that ability to compete and an ability to find a way of putting performances in. Um, and so from that perspective, playing in, in, in the IPL tournament has put him in high pressure situations. So it's continued to push him. I think his, I mean, his hitting ability with the bat was always there. I think that's, that's actually progressing to a, a really good level. Um, and then it's, and he's also bowled at important times in the IPL as well. So he's been put under pressure and challenged. So as a 23 year old, he's getting some really good experiences. Um, as I said, when he comes back and, and plays with England again, he's, you know, he's having to challenge for a place as well. So he's, he's been put under pressure to perform for England also. So that's, that, that's not a bad thing, but he is one of his great um, kind of personality uh, sort of traits is that he's a real competitor um, and have seen that ever since he was a young lad. Um, and his skill level is going up. And as for a 23-year-old, it, it's, a, it's a good place for him to be. And we just want him to keep getting better and better. And I suppose with the 100 coming up, um, new competition in this country, is, is the hope of, that we might find another breed, the next generation through that process? Do you think that the way that, that you know, the, the cricket's going to be structured in that competition, it will kind of give England a bit of a, a head start, I suppose, in finding the next generation of, of versatile cricketers, batsmen, bowlers? Like well, I, I think probably if you look at the IPL, you would say that it has benefited a lot of the younger Indian players being put under pressure. Um, and playing in that environment. Um, and yes, I, I would hope that the 100 would also be able to recreate that for our younger players as well. And we hope that, you know, the format's an exciting one and uh, one which, uh, you know, sort of the, the public enjoy and the players actually feel uh, under pressure, especially, I mean, the whole thing about that is getting good, good crowds in as well. Uh, that's so important. I think, I, you know, a bit like yesterday, it, was, it felt more like a crowd was in again. Um, we're starting to see that come back. And I think that's also a really good indicator for where a player uh, is at with his temperament. Can I just finish by asking about the crowd? Um, with supporters back in, what has been the impact on, on, the, on the group, but also, in, I suppose, specifically on the players? I, I just think it's like, like anything. You know, players, um, you know, get lifted um, by, by having a crowd in. They've got something to go and perform to. The, the noise, you know, the singing. That all adds to it. And I think that's the thing which has obviously been missing uh, from the last year, even though I would say even last year, the quality of the cricket which was being played uh, was still of a very good level, considering that, that there was no one in the ground. But it's always nice yeah, to add that. Lovely. Thanks, Graham. Yes. Thanks, Ben. Let's go to Will and then uh, Lawrence. Morning, Graham. How are you? Morning, Graham. Um, you've obviously got a, the series wrapped up uh, with a game to spare. ODI is a tending to be the kind of slightly more experimental format for you at the moment. Uh, how much, how many changes to the side do you think we should expect on on Sunday? And, and are you thinking about giving George Garton a debut? Tom Banton's obviously in the squad now as well. Yes, I mean, we've got options. I mean, I have, we're obviously travelling down to Bristol uh, later on today um, and we'll probably start those conversations off. But I think as Maud said last night in the... Uh, in his interview, you know, that we can look to make uh, uh, changes and whether that's bringing Chris Wokes back into the side, playing George Garton, um, Livingstone obviously didn't play yesterday and uh, Liam Dawson as well. So there are options, but it's also been good to see some of the established players as well, just in the in these two matches perform. You know, Roy coming back looking good yesterday, Morgan spending a uh, good time at the crease, uh, Joe Root again, you know, just being that sort of glue for, for the team in the middle. So it's good to know that, um, you know, the sort of your established players uh, are in a good place as well. Um, uh, and then that uh, leaves you a few gaps maybe for the captain to sort of experiment with going forward. 
where, when when these opportunities present themselves, is it important to take them? If that makes sense, to take that opportunity to to learn about new players. Yeah, and I think I think the players uh, know that as well. Um, I think that having having good healthy competition, you know, keeps players on the edge and when they do get opportunities it's a bit like David Woody coming back into the team um, you know he's very unfortunate to miss out in the World Cup but again he creates that 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 competition and he loves wearing an England shirt and putting a performance in for the team so I think all the players um, are aware um, that it's uh, every time they put a shirt on um, uh, in this in the white ball format and in our red ball team that it's an opportunity for them to establish their place um, and be in a position where they're picked for squads and to perform at a high level in tournaments for us. Okay, we'll go Lawrence and then Andrew Miller. Go ahead, Lawrence. Hi, Graham. Just you mentioned George Garton there. Just wondered what kind of impression he's made around the squad and what he would bring to the team if he does get the game on Sunday. That's the thing. We've seen him play some of the T20 games, so we've seen his performances. Um, we know he's got a bit of pace on him, but he's also... Um, He's got some good tricks up his sleeve as well. So it's one thing, you know, seeing it uh, at, a, at a county level, and then it's another thing um, stepping up and doing it uh, with an international uh, match as well. And I think it'll be interesting, you know, that, you know, discussions about whether we can get him into the side uh, down at Bristol. Can you reveal what tricks he might have up his sleeve? Well, no, I mean, it's like a lot of the, um, the, the players nowadays, you know, they've got very slow balls. Um, he's got a bit of pace, so he's got a decent bounce on him. I think like anything, it's the ability to deliver the accuracy of those variations as well, which is so important. So I think that's, that's the exciting part of seeing um, and giving an opportunity to a, to a younger player. Can I just ask one general question about this, the last few days, really? Um, has there been any disappointment at all that you haven't been quite as pushed or tested by Sri Lanka as as you might have been? Oh, well, I think when when you when you look at it, I think that potentially the Pakistan series could push us further. The only thing I can say is that the Sri Lankan bowling attack has, has been has been decent. We know they've lost some of their their, their batsmen, so potentially those scores um, and actually probably having in batsmen actually at the crease. Uh, and putting our bowlers under pressure maybe hasn't been there as much in these two games so far. Um, but the well, we've been pleased just with the our own performances because they're, they're, they're certainly we didn't want any complacency uh, to creep in. And I think that's because of the competition we have, the players want to put good performances in. Also, I think we've been very good as an outfit in the field as well, which is important. That shows, I always think, uh, you know, where a team is at. Uh, you know, with how they actually go out there and field as well. Cheers. Okay, Andrew and then John. Hi, Graham. I was just um, wondering about about Moeen as well. I mean, obviously you mentioned the IPL influence that that that, that Sam has obviously absorbed and, and has really become a star as a consequence of his performances there. I mean, Moeen similarly has, has has made a big impact recently, but I guess he didn't bowl yesterday. He's he's stuck there and in the, in the lower middle as well. I mean, where, where's he at in terms of his position in, in the side and, and you know, in, in terms of the, the balance between, you know, the lessons you're getting out of the IPL and also fitting them into a, what's previously been a very successful England white ball side. How do, how do you marry those two things up? Well, I think, um, firstly, you know, look, the, the one World Cup, T20 World Cups in Asia, as is uh, the 50 over World Cup as well. So I think Moen is always going to be, uh, I think the fact that Morgs, Big Sim shows um, what he thinks of him as a cricketer. Um, the fact that he, you know, probably hasn't been able to uh, show us um, right now over these last couple of games. I know he got a bit of time at the crease at, uh, at the Riverside, but uh, I think the fact that uh, he's in the team, Morgs will often want two spinners um, available to him. Whether he actually uses both of them, as we found yesterday, I think that is just purely how the captain uh, sees it on the day. But he's got his options. And um, more and uh, sorry, Mo is very much part of that as well. Okay, let's go to John, and then uh, we'll finish with Chris Stocks. Good morning. Um, uh, just on Sam Curran, I mean, people often refer to him as a cricketer who makes things happen, which, which is a compliment, but maybe suggests he takes a wicket here or hits a six there. But could he be more than that? Could he be a guy who can take the regular four and five for? And make regular fifties or even even hundreds. 
in all formats for England? Well, I think I think given him where he's at, uh, the amount of experience he's got as a as a 23 year old in terms of well, that's international cricket um, and uh, franchise cricket as well, um, makes us believe that you know he's just starting out. Um, and of course, I think he's still got to work, you know, really hard. I think his T20 cricket has has sort of uh, progress really well. I think we've seen that um, as a player, and I think it's establishing himself as a as a fifty over player for us as well. That's a really important part of it. And then he's gonna he's got to try to be in the mix as well for for Test cricket as well. It's quite that sounds quite a lot of cricket. So as you know, some, with someone like Ben Stokes, the amount of work and, and the fitness levels which are required for that. So I think there are ultimately still the challenges you know, for well um, to be a multi-format uh, cricketer um, is delivering that consistency as well um, for England uh, time and time again. So that'll be a, a, one of the bigger challenges for Sam going forward, really. But uh, I think very much that relies quite heavily on, on his shoulders to be able to do that as well. But we know that we've got a very exciting cricketer you know, with us and we just have to, you know, keep encouraging him to improve and get better as a player all the time. Okay. Just on your own role, are you in charge of these games? Can you put your sort of stamp on things or is, is, is Chris very much sort of um, looking over your shoulder? Well, we've tried, we've tried to give him a break. I mean, I think as, as the schedules, you know, would suggest, and sometimes with players coming and going, so he's been in, he's been in contact, um, you know, with us, but it's, you know, obviously Spoons is in charge of the team and we're just, you know, we've been around the guys a lot and it's it's important as well that he can uh, go away, have a break and recharge his batteries as well over over this week. So, and it's nice for, 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 for me and Collie, you know, to, to step up and do it. Um, but it's really just about trying to keep it going in the right direction. Maltz is very experienced captain. Uh, so it's uh, working closely with him and the players uh, around uh, the squad. Have you been in well. charge before? Uh, when Chris went home from New Zealand, I did a bit yeah, last. I did Pakistan T twenties last year as well. So it's a it's a, it's a good change up. Okay, thank you. Okay, last one, Chris Stocks, please. Hi, Thorpe. Um, right. I want to ask you about Joe Root's form these last couple of games. How much of a, a good sign is that ahead of um, you know quite a big big summer to come as well? Yes, I mean we 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 tend to take it for granted, you know, the sort of performances which he, uh, and consistency which he provides for England. Um, and he's, a, he's, a, he's a vital player. Um, he's a vital player for us. Um, his hunger to score runs, um, you know, the glue which he sort of provides, certainly within our, our 50 over side, so important with the stroke makers which uh, we have around him. Um, and uh, we hope that his, his form and fitness stays with him through uh, the rest of the summer and the winter. Um, but again, it's like, it is managing, uh, you know, the players um, through these periods as well and keeping an eye on them and making sure that they're fresh and enjoying their cricket. And then um, just want to touch on something you um, answered from Lawrence about, about the Pakistan series coming up. I, I know that you've got a game left in this one, but do you hope and do you expect them to give you a, a tougher challenge? Yeah, well, I, I think... It'd be fair to say that I, I think Sri Lanka have got a decent, um, you know, group of players. There's no doubt about that. I think they've been weakened probably more on, the, on their batting side uh, than they have within their bowling unit. But I, I, you know, I probably believe that Pakistan will be, you know, for a team which is further ahead in terms of experience um, and and how I think they'll be out of challenge. Well, which I'm sure, which I'm sure they will. It'll be a, 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 probably a tougher contest. Okay, have a good day. Catch you uh, tomorrow. Thank you. Cheers, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks.